Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another battle view between the Galaxy S20 Ultra, the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the Pixel 4 XL. We'll be taking a look at all the cameras to see who has the best in low light conditions and you guys can make your choices as well. Now in this video, you're gonna see all the S20 Ultra images on the left with the Pixel 4 XL and the iPhone 11 Pro Max images on the right. Now let's go ahead and start off with our selfie images. So the very first set of images are between the Ultra and the Pixel 4 XL. The Ultra has a little bit darker tone to it, but you can still see my face quite well. Uh, the Pixel 4 XL is brighter, but there's a lot of grain in the image. Uh, and you can see my shirt much clearly with the Pixel 4 XL image. So I kind of like what the Pixel 4 XL is doing here. Now iPhone users know the iPhone doesn't have night mode in the front facing camera, which is why this image is much dark, very grainy, and it's there's not a lot of detail in terms of what you're looking at when you're looking at my selfie image here. So uh, take that as you will. Now, the second image here, the 4XL is brighter, but also softer in terms of my face compared to the Ultra, which has more detail, but not as bright. Uh, the color of my shirt is better represented by the Pixel 4XL, while the S20 Ultra, not so much. Now, compared to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, well, again, you can see that the 11 Pro Max just doesn't have a night mode, so you can't recreate anything that comes to par, but it just gives you a representation of where I was sitting and what all the cameras actually doing. Now, when we go to the main lens here, the Pixel 4 XL is really bright in this scene. Now, there's a lot of detail in both images. The S20 Ultra has a lot of nice details. Uh, slight yellow tint there, I would say. I like what the Pixel 4 XL is doing. Uh, and then when you look at it compared, the Ultra compared to the 11 Pro Max, the 11 Pro Max has much more of a yellow tint to it. So you can see that this image is good. All of them are good, but I would say the Ultra is better than the Pixel 4 XL do it better than the 11 Pro Max for me here in this image. Now, this image here has a lot of detail. There's a lot of details in the structure and the S20 Ultra really highlights those details much better, I think, than Pixel 4 XL and also brightens it up a bit more. Um, I think both images are good, but I really like what the S20 Ultra is doing here with the sharpening uh, where you can see the brick building on the left just has more color to it and more textured layers. Compared to the 11 Pro Max, the 11 Pro Max is again that yellow tint is showing off more and you can see clearly the s20 ultra image is brighter and also showing you a lot more altogether now the iphone 11 pro max image is good don't get me wrong uh, but i think when you look at it here in terms of the details you're getting the s20 ultra image is better now, this is a 5x zoom image. I just wanted to show you guys here quickly um, and showing you what the S20 Ultra can do with its uh, zoom at 5x in night mode. Now, when we move to our very next image here, this is an ultra wide shot. Now, of course, the 11 Pro Max doesn't have an ultra wide uh, and low light. Um, so that's something hopefully Apple changes, but the Ultra really shows what it can do in low light. You can, show, you can see both images, there's more details. You can see the fans clearer. You can see all the antenna as well as also the uh, water tower quite clearly in the S20 Ultra image. Now we go to the main lens here and we compare. Uh, you can see that the iPhone 11 Pro Max image is a bit brighter than the S20 Ultra in this, but when you look at the things in the foreground, uh, those fans look much sharper and brighter in the S20 Ultra image in comparison. Both images are good, so I do like both images, but they are different points they are focusing on. While if you look at the Pixel 4 XL image, you can see it is definitely much brighter all across the board. Uh, so I think in this case, the Pixel 4 XL has the, the better shot right here. Uh, really bright, you can see the fans, the rust more clearly, less of the yellowness as you see in the S20 Ultra image. Now, moving on to our next image here, the 11 Pro Max compared to the S20 Ultra. I think the Ultra has just much, uh, it's a much sharper and better dynamic range in the shot. You can see it looks less hazy the iPhone 11 Pro Max, when you look further down to the water towers, that scene feels a little hazy. The, the, the light's a little bit clouded and there's not enough sharpening, if you will. Now, moving over to the Pixel 4 XL, the image is brighter overall, but it feels like on the far end, you know, the, the building towards the far left with all the lights, looks like those lights are becoming a little bit 
cloudy if you will well again the s20 ultra still has that sharper tone and look to it i do like that the pixel 4 xl image overall is brighter but i think the s20 ultra image i think gives me a much more balanced look in the shot now moving to 2x zoom the s20 ultra here much brighter again you can see the iphone 11 pro max that yellow tinge tends to show up and also the building the brown building in the front is a bit darker compared to the s20 ultra image where the brown building is more lit and you can see more details you can see the balconies the windows clearer those kind of uh details actually come in quite clear with the s20 ultra when we go compared to the pixel 4 xl uh, it's the same thing i would say the s20 ultra overall looks sharper and brighter uh the main building with the water tower you can see the lighting is more focused and bright and again also the brown building in the front in the pixel is darker compared to the s20 ultra so this shows you i think that the s20 ultra really does a good job in low light at 2x and then if we decide to move to the ultra wide here you can see yet again since the pixel 4 xl doesn't have an ultra wide camera the iphone 11 pro uh still does a decent job without night mode here um and you can see what the s20 ultra does really well in sharpening brightening you can see the top of the roofs much better and you can see, you can also see how wide that um that lens is compared to the iphone 11 pro max uh when we now move to 5x zoom which the pixel 4 xl can actually take shots of 5x in night mode uh the s20 ultra is just sharper the sharpness comes again there's a bit more focus to it so as opposed to the pixel 4 xl uh, which is a bit hazy and you can just see the clarity across the board so i do like what the s20 ultra here is doing in this image now and a couple indoor shots here this is a main lens shot of the pixel 4 xl s20 ultra looking at the bottles i think what images are nice uh the s20 ultra is might be a little bit sharper in certain uh situations here in this shot but i think both of them are equally well balanced now when you look at it compared to the iphone 11 pro max i think it's a bit this is around the same although i i do feel the s20 ultra image is just a tight tad bit brighter than the uh iphone 11 pro max image here but i think overall this is a nice good balance again this is in a bar uh really low light settings and again uh there's a lot of background residual lighting for you here now this is using the main lens you can see this sh shot of the bar i do like the shot i really think the s20 ultra shot really gives you that magazine vibe look to it the pixel 4 xl shot is nice but for, for whatever reason it doesn't brighten up as much uh, and it doesn't highlight the cash register and the bar as well while well, moving to the iphone 11 pro max image i really like what the iphone is doing here now granted the s20 ultra again gives you that magazine feel and look too it the uh iphone 11 pro max image here is really nice well lit you can see a bit more uh brightness in the overall image so just giving it a really nice tone that i think some people will like now again a wide angle shot here 11 pro max image is nice it does a good job um even though it doesn't have a low light capabilities but the s20 ultra low light camera wide angle you can just see how beautiful it kind of lights the bar the only thing i'll criticize is the little light bleed from the candle right in front of me there but that's about it now speaking of candles we had a candle with of course our galaxy watch active 2 uh the pixel 4 xl image looks a little bit hazy it's it feels like the light bleed from the candle is kind of um you know clouding it a little bit compared to the s20 ultra which looks a little bit more focused again more of that sharpness which you've heard a lot in this video compared to the iphone here which looks really reddish uh and also lack of focus on the uh watch face the s20 ultra really does a good job focusing on the watch face uh, and getting that image as clear as possible now another wide shot in the bar s20 ultra has much more of a saturated look um and and the Pixel 4 XL is a bit brighter on the wide end, but I think both images are good. Uh, again, this is a really dark scene in the bar, just to give you a sense. While well, here, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, um, the yellow tint is really coming out with those candles here. Although the stools are much brighter, you can see the stools much clearly, sorry, in comparison to the uh, S20 Ultra image. But I think overall, both images are really good. Now, there's a 
a shot of my buddy Marion Tell, the S20 Ultra, does a good job in bringing him out compared to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is adding a lot of the red lighting to him, even though that's where he's, he's standing. But there is uh, quite a bit of sharpening on the edges of the S20 Ultra. Now, the Pixel 4 XL really whitens out the image. So the light in the can to his left is more white, and, it, and it's also uh, white balancing the board, which is actually white. So uh, this is a better image, but some things I think are a bit off in color. Here, this is where you see that over sharpening kind of pushed the extent on the S20 Ultra. I think it's a bit too sharp. I do like the 11 Pro Max image. The S20 Ultra, I can see myself better, but it really comes up as very, very sharp, uh, especially when you look at the wall behind as opposed to the Pixel 4 XL here which uh, kind of gives you the better representation of the wall, but it's not as sharp and it's not as focused as the S20 Ultra. Now, a final set of images front facing, uh, sorry, this is actually the rear camera, and you can see the sharpening again. There's a lot of detail in my face, my beard on the S20 Ultra in comparison uh, to the uh, Pixel 4 XL and the iPhone 11 Pro Max here as well. Um, all images are good, I you can just see how sharp sharp the S20 Ultra really does in terms of imaging. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. There were a lot of images to go through and we got to see how each of the cameras worked. Now, in terms of the S20 Ultra, I think overall it comes out as being on top because of all the different facets and features it gives you. Uh, low light in 2x zoom, 5x zoom, 10x zoom, also low light with the ultra wide camera and its overall consistency. Now, the one thing I wish it did was not the over sharpening of, of certain images, but hey, uh, I think uh, S20 Ultra comes out as a strong contender here. What do you guys think? Uh, do you think the Pixel 4 still holds its crown? Do you think the iPhone actually has a play here? Or do you think the S20 Ultra really came in and took the reins? Leave your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear the discussion. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.